maintain. Uh, okay, gear down and locked. Now that'll bring you back. The gear down and locked will bring your speed down to flap speed, which is 105 knots. Okay. There's your 105. If you put in. Uh, you can, you can see it, it, so why don't I'll you put do it? I'll put it flat to 10. Now you'll need to power up a little, and we can slow flight after we get the gear down, or the flaps down. All right, I'm going to 20 degrees. Okay. There's 20, and your airspeed's dropping to 95. Decal traffic, 5-2, Alva 5 I'm going to go all the way to 30. You ready? Okay. Go ahead. All right, there's 30 degrees on the flaps. This is landing configuration. Gear down and locked, flaps at 30. 90 knots, and yeah, you want to be... Okay, so what are we aiming for? Uh, straight and level, uh, it'll probably be about 80 knots. Let's see what you, if you get there and you're still able to climb without adding power, then we'll pull the power back a little more. I'm going to go into uh, calibration mode here. The approach then entering a left downwind for runway 20. We'll be departing the pattern to the north. Delta is... So I press the brightness button for six seconds. Blue light blinks. Next thing we'll do is, you know, you're pitching back slowly until we get straight and level flight, about 80 knots. And if you pull back, do you think we'd be climbing some or not? Probably. All right, so you want to power back a little more. Stall speed 30 is about 64 knots. So anywhere between 60 and 80 will be a good point. You're starting to feel the, the getting loosey goosey on you. Yeah. Uh, so I'm not trying to overdo this. All right, I feel like you're almost there. What do you think? Pretty close. Uh, I'm ready to push the button now. If you are. All right, you're not yeah, climbing. Right there, right Don't want you descending either. All right, we're gonna hit the calibration. And I, I think you got it. We got it. Excellent. You can power up. I think we're going to be good to go. All right, when you okay. get, I want to uh, raise the gear or flaps first, yeah. Nice job. And on the airplane. So what kind of speed were we at? About 70? We were about 68. 68? I'm going to note that. Yep. 7900 feet AGL, just south of the You're up. Gears in transition. Yes, sir. That flaps are all the way up. Yep. I'm going to... 2400 here. Beautiful, beautiful. That's where we, I didn't get past that step on the first go round. Okay. We had to pitch the. That's a lot to do. I mean, to keep it, to keep it perfectly level like that. I could see it be, because yeah. if you just let it off just a little bit to, to calibrate it, it might be off slightly. Yeah, just to reach up and push yeah. the calibration button here. So now we get into cruise. Now we get into cruise, and this is should okay. be easy. Um, I'll tell you. You want to do it at 2425 or 2424? Let's do 2424. Okay. Uh, I have cruised at 25, 25, but very seldom. Okay. All right, so i got to read my instructions. That's here. fine. You do that. I'll get set up. Uh, I'm excited we got past that step. You good with the plane? Oh, yeah. Got I got it. Controls? Okay. All right. We should have our green light. Yep, you do. Reds and blues are lit, and the yellow flickered. We had that. Good. Optimum angle of attack set point is good and has been stored. System has become active, so now we go to the cruise set point calibration. Uh, or we could repeat that, but that was that was excellent. And yeah, I, think I think it was good. pretty good. You got a good good read on that. I agree, and you were nice and stable. Really nice configuration, nice and stable. Exactly. We weren't descending. Okay, so now we want to configure for in-flight cruise, you know, straight and level, hold altitude, cruise power. That's kind of where you're headed, it looks like. Almost there. Now, at this speed, I got it down at 11.8. you need it lower than that? Uh, no, that's, that's, that's fine. That's okay. We'll be staying cool that way. Yeah. See, it's cheap. Good. Yeah. On a little clearing look here. I haven't heard anybody or seen anybody, but... 
Commander 7 6 Delta entering the downwind 1 8 lane. Right, so let me know when you think we're kind of in a good cruise. It feels like you're getting close. A little bumpy, but that's all right. Traffic. Oh, yeah, we just went straight and level, holding our altitude and cruise power. You know, I, I was thinking 22 inches and 2400, but when I cruise, yeah, you probably want to your max cruise. Right. Yeah. Faster's better here for the setting. Yeah. So, yeah, I think we got it, so I, I just got to keep it level here. All right, and you, you got time now. All I'm going to do now is enter the cruise calibration mode. Okay, just did that. Done. Okay, now um, if you just maintain these conditions, yep. then uh, I'm going to press and set the calibration button. I can do it again if I need to. You, yep. You're pretty well set up, Cruz. All right, here we go. Stepping three times. All right, what happened? Let's see. This operation. Check weather calibration is successful. First green light flashed and the aircraft is not in cruise. If the last one to three lights flash indicate display represents a new cruise set point, I think we're good. I think that was a good uh, calibration. So just stay in cruise here. Are you kind of navigating? Cause I'm, yeah, I'm going to fly south a little bit. All right. Now I want to store the values of the uh, ang uh, optimum angle and the cruise set point and exit the calibration mode and enter operational mode. To do that, I just press the brightness button again and hold it for six seconds. There we go. Decal traffic, Cessna 52 Alpha Fox, turning left crosswind. That's it. That's it. It's, that's its diagnostic check. Now it's into operational mode. The full white green light means we're in cruise. We did it. So if we reduce power here. Yeah, you want to go check it? Just slow it up and see just a little bit. Uh-huh, see if we start to get, you know, it's in cruise. You don't want to see all those lights all the time. So it goes to the single light on the right. But as we slow down, it should go operational. Decal traffic, Cessna 52 Alpha Fox, left downwind, runway 20, decal traffic. Supposed to be doing something now? Yeah, it should be doing something. Because I got, oh, there it goes. Is that the alert, or? I don't know, but you just did something, and there it is. Don't get too slow without... Yeah. What's that all about? <laughs> I don't know. It's your system. We did, <laughs> we did everything right. Yeah. Uh, Here, let me, let me try slowing it up again and see. Maybe, yeah, maybe it needs to be in the gear down, flaps down, because that's the configuration it's happy with. It wants that angle of attack and everything. It shouldn't matter here. All right, you're climbing. For, well, it does. It does uh, uh, somehow. Here's your angle of attack. I think it's there. It's going. Now it's working. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's working. All right. You, maybe we should put the gear and flaps down to test it. You try that? I'd like to do that. Yeah. yeah. Whose pump's still on? Okay, well, we're below gear speed. So go ahead with the gear. It's going to need some uh, power to... Uh, and I can actually put flaps down. You ready? Yep, go ahead. I've got three green. All right, I'm going to 10 degrees. There's 10. I'm going to be below 105 if you can. 10 is, degrees is actually good up to 140 knots. Uh, and then uh, 20 and 30 degrees at 105 knots. So you want some more flaps yet? Sure. Okay, we're going to 20. There's 20 degrees. Still nothing there. It's starting to light up. And you're 95 knots. Okay, I'm going to 30 degrees. Okay. There's 30. 90 knots, there it is. 88 knots, there you are. Getting squishy, knots. getting, getting squishy. squishy, yeah. There you go, there's a... Is that the warning? Yes. Okay, applying power. Power forward, well done. Very well done. Okay. Yeah, she says uh, push. You didn't hear her say it, but she'll say oh, push. Oh, is that what she said? Yeah. 
Oh, uh, flaps need to come up. Gear needs to come up. Oh. Gear's up. Yeah. That's good. That's a up. flap warning indicator. Oh, is that what it was? Uh, you, okay. If you don't have your gear down, you put the flaps down, it buzzes at you. Good. All right, you want your plane back? Sure. All right, she's all yours. All right. You got the flight controls. Well done. I've got the flight controls. All right, that was good. That was very good. Very, very good. I'm excited. It was a real coup to get that. I was a little concerned there, but that means we have it set so low that uh, you don't even uh, see the lights come on until we're in well, the Well, it wasn't, I mean, it was just barely buffeting, so, which is right where you want it to be. Yeah. Yeah, I guess. I know you were kind of uncomfortable, but I, I wasn't, so. You weren't? No. So that means I need to get to that point. <laughs> <laughs> Not necessarily. That means that you should avoid that point. <laughs> <laughs> and that's why I have the AOA. That's and right. A, and a lot of other uh, yeah. personal limits. All right, I'm going to flip our camera off. Okay.